Welcome to another fun-filled week of vlogging. Um, to kick off this week's vlog, we've had uh, part of my door come apart, and Nana is uh, coming up with some little fix here. She's a carpenter in her spare time. <laughs> Papa, what did you uh, actually buy from the store for this fix? I'm not real sure because all the directions were in size one half font, and uh, you couldn't read them without a microscope, so I didn't have mine. No I'm just glad I'm not on my own for this task. <laughs> Middle, it's craft time. It's craft time. Middle's they... <laughs> learning how to be a carpenter when she grows up. <laughs> oh. Nana. She's watching Nana with much admiration. Yeah. The deal is here that this is going to be fixed. Like we had the appointment with the people who will be eventually fixing it. But in assessing the situation. Bill, Misty, <laughs> Eve, don't get your feet in it. <laughs> the people who were fixing it gave their assessment of the situation. I think that loosened it some and uh, caused it to kind of come apart. In the meantime, since you can't just snap your fingers and have the fix it people come and get it all perfect, uh, the temporary fix is what's happening now. What? She needs yeah, some, more, some more goop. Is it working? Was that know. a yes? She doesn't know. <laughs> you know if you had some uh, duct tape or athletic tape or something, we could maybe tape the board so that you know while no while it's uh, the glue is drying. Oh. It could. Uh, oh, adhere. to hold it in place. Could I get some tape and tape that up while the glue is drying? No. No. Carpentry backgrounds are apparently more extensive than others. Well, I've never been good at fixing anything. I usually make it worse. <laughs> Biddle's trying to pick up some stuff from my grandma. <laughs> Betty? You Here's know a tip. A Nana, I got a tip for you. It's a literal tip, yeah. actually. Not a not an advice tip. That's a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Betty doesn't know what to think. Betty oh. You're the cutest little carpenter of the world. How are you doing, Nook? I'm doing okay. So I'm on my way to an outdoor inspection um, for a case that I've got. And this is what the weather is like right now. Yes, that is snow. This is not going to be fun. Hello everyone, really exciting stuff happening at Beauty Broadcast Headquarters today. I am doing a collaboration video with Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. So, ah, I had dinner with her last night. It was so much fun. I just feel like I can relate to her so much. I see eye to eye with her on so many things. So she had the idea to do this months back. And there aren't a lot of people raising their hands to say, hey, can I come to Southern Illinois and do a video with you? But she did, she said that. Heart of gold on this one. So she's coming over to my house this morning to the makeup room. We're gonna shoot a couple of videos, one for each of our channels, and um, I'll keep you posted on social media as to when those will be showing up for you guys to see. But I've redone my setup here to make it like a two-person a two-person set, if you will. So I've spread out my lights a little bit. I've backed up my camera. Um, I've got a little, like, table here. I thought she can kind of have that whole desk side because she's got some fun plans for one of these videos where I think, you know, she can use that. I pulled out this little, like, TV tray for myself here. I've got some materials in that caboodle that she told me to uh, get ready. But yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. It's fun to have, you know, a special guest in town. And she is very special. If you are not familiar with Jen Loves Reviews, you need to look up her channel, subscribe, and then, you know, you can thank me later. Hey, good morning, everyone. Today, Bill and I are going to the dentist. I have a checkup and this will be her first appointment. So they said that she should come and kind of watch me get it done and then it'll be her turn. So got plenty of books for her to look at. How are you gonna open your mouth? Uh, All right, you pass the test, you're in. You think Thank we should you. Get that? <laughs> What's your tummy? What's your tummy? <laughs>
solid minutes of just <laughs> aggressive <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we still have the Christmas blanket on. Because it's so comfy. It's comfy, yeah. Good morning, guys. How about a hair really undone laundry room chat? <laughs> Saturday morning. I'm realizing I really haven't vlogged much this week. Like, um, again, you know it's gonna, I'm going in for it when I prop the elbow somewhere. It has just been a week, a week of a lot of activity. Um, starting off with Monday, like first thing in the morning, I had a doctor's appointment, just like it was a sort of a one month, but coming really, no, one year, but coming very late, you know, several months late, like doctor's checkup at my OBGYN. I'm definitely not pregnant, but this is just like a, a standard checkup. And I get there and they're like, oh no, your appointment's actually been canceled. Uh, we had tried to call, but your voicemail was full. Then I had this whole revelation about deleted messages on your iPhone that actually like apparently have to be erased because I was diligently getting rid of things and they were all <laughs> staying on my phone. So there's that. But I had gotten all these like confirmation texts and stuff leading up to the appointment. So I just kind of assumed the appointment was on, you know, but whatevs, it was off. So I come right back home. And then by evening, I got to go out and eat with Jen from Jen Loves Reviews because she's in town to do like a couple of collab videos with me here in my makeup room and so we did that and I would have looking back I would have loved to have vlogged like a little bit that night but at the same time I'm so glad I fully enjoyed that moment you know like I was in it and I, we just talked like we must have been at dinner for several hours but it could have gone on way way longer that was such a good night it was like I don't know I felt like I was talking to a person I'd known for years and it's there's this odd feeling with youtubers where you watch them and you do kind of feel like you know them but yet we were talking about things that were so outside the realm of just, you know, beauty YouTube videos. I enjoyed her so much and I told her then when we shot the videos the next morning, she came over here. I was like, I need to vlog about this and I told her I have my camera here and what did I do? Completely forgot to pick up the camera and vlog. Although we will have two amazing videos <laughs> to show you of what we did together, but um, I did mean to vlog that day and again, we just got caught up talking. But Jen is seriously wonderful. She puts a ton of work into her channel. You see, you know, day in and day out all the things that she's posting and just all that super informative makeup content. But Cupcake's scratching at something. She probably pooped outside the litter box. And that's why she's going to the vet today. Tyler's taking her. I'm gonna leave more of that story for him to tell. But what I was trying to say about Jen is that you know her, you know, from a YouTube stance and what she's doing here and all the informative, wonderful content she's bringing us. But as a person, she is just absolutely lovely. But can I tell you about the amount of makeup room cleanup I did ahead of this visit that she made? I told her, I was like, it's never been this clean. Never ever. Like, and I do have some stuff stashed under a chair and perhaps under a desk but like I got my act in gear knowing she was coming and I spent probably a full week just on and off because you know I can't I've got kids here I can't, I can't take a whole day and and do makeup room so bits and pieces every day for about a week I got that under control <laughs> anyway um there was a lot of there was a lot of behind the scenes work to you know make my room feel acceptable for Jen I wanted it to be good for Jen I don't think I had actually any scheduled stuff on Wednesday but then by Thursday uh we had Bell's first dentist appointment and she was really excited to go she um they set her in the chair and were showing her like all the tools and gave all the tools funny nicknames and she touched them all and you know like i think she was kind of into it and then it came time for them to really get down in there and do some cleaning and she freaked out a little bit she didn't like cry or have the meltdown which was entirely possible it didn't come to that they were just like oh you know we we this is sort of what we expect for the first appointment just to kind of familiarize them with the the room and what we do and just sort of be in the environment a little bit more than anything so they thought it was pretty much par for the course she said from what they could see because they took their little mirror in there and did some picking around on all her teeth and stuff they said everything looked really good and that night we had gymnastics and then yesterday um, was just like finishing up video stuff because I was a little off um, video schedule wise this week I didn't get anything posted I had my vlog Monday 
uh, which was very, uh, very late on Monday, in case you missed that. Didn't get a video posted Tuesday, instead put it up Wednesday, because just all of our activity between me and Jen here Tuesday. So I posted Wednesday, Thursday. I hear little footsteps. Somebody's awake, and somebody's found me. <gasps> Biddy! Hi! Oh. I mean, I stepped in the room, and she just... Did you about to put some deodorant on there? No. Did I did I catch you in the middle of something? <laughs> were you not expecting to see a show going no. on here in the laundry room? I thought you were talking on the phone. <laughs> said I'm gonna oh. let Bub tell the full story about why uh, Vicky headed to the vet. So stay oh, tuned. Yeah, stay yeah. tuned for that. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. So I think the point that I never got to there on my little uh, monologue in the laundry room was that um, I'm making up for lost time today <laughs> for not getting a lot of vlogging done throughout the week. So you're gonna see some really mundane stuff. <laughs> It's all kind of just everyday life. I mean, happening here on the vlog, nothing too glamorous, but uh, but it's gonna be real down and dirty today because I'm gonna try to get the camera out a lot. <laughs> oh. Are you done with your plate? <laughs> yeah, we've got a whole like little people community happening here. What do you think, Biddy? Can you put somebody on the slide? Can you make somebody? I'll go up the ladder and down the slide. You gotta get your house all set up, don't you? He sticks in right here. Look, Biddy. Swing, swing. And look at this. Up the ladder. Whee! There you go. Go. Just gotta press them down a little bit. Whee! All right, so I'm about to take Cupcake into the vet. Um, Cupcake has a little bit of a problem where she needs to have her anal glands expressed um, every so often. And yes, I'm, I'm sure it's as horrible as it sounds. And um, we have pre-medicated her with something to. Uh, calm her. Apparently she doesn't like having someone stick a finger in her butt. So we're gonna run in there. Should be a pretty qu quick procedure. She's gonna feel better after hopefully and stop pooping on the floor. here yes. uh you have any situations you need to update us on okay so earlier activities um brought cupcake into the vet um they said she did just fine expressed just <laughs> perfectly um it was in and out real quick um i had to take the van in this here van to be serviced and then when I got there, they said there are a couple of recalls they need to look at as well. So it ended up taking about two and a half hours. Um, but they had a really nice waiting area and uh, had a TV, had the Cardinals game on. I had my laptop, so I worked for the whole time. And really, it wasn't that bad. It was a productive two and a half hours. And now we are on our way out to get some dinner with everybody here. We need to get stocked up on things for our trip. We are going to Destin for a week and we can't freaking wait. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> Dinner check and target check. We, he was trying to get out of there without paying for his beloved LaCroix, which let's open up the comments section for discussion on that. Yeah. Who likes it? Who doesn't like it? I could go either way. I, I think it's okay. I don't love it. We were doing self-checkout and he forgot, but then he 
He remembered. A local couple and their two children are arrested for uh, shoplifting at Target. <laughs> Tried to steal two eight packs of LaCroix, one flavored grapefruit, one key lime. We're now watching one of Bub's top movies because he feels like he relates to it so much. Well, you are legally blonde. Which do you like better, Bub? Legally blonde one or two? One. Definitely one. It's not very realistic, but it is more relatable in some senses. So we went to Target. We got some things that are trip related. I also saw this in the one spot area and I thought it was so cute. I'm like, I'm gonna just get this for myself for Mother's Day just to ensure that I get that. <laughs> got a couple of sunscreens that I think Bub and I could also use here. Um, SPF 50 with the spray and also the spreadable kind. Some very cool sunglasses. I really have wanted heart sunglasses for a while and I finally found those. I also got some that Belle or Eve could wear. Cute little bow. Belle's uh, little sun hat from last year still fits her, but Eve's is too small now, so I got that. And then just a couple of kind of bumming around t-shirt type things for Nugget here. I got her a Trolls one, and we know she loves Peppa, so I got those two. I got 3T just for longevity's sake, and a lot of things I think a 2T is working for right now, but I think that'll be okay. Also, we got these sweet little cover-up things for both of them. Um, they are so precious. They tried them on last night and they looked super cute on, so I think those would be nice. But we weren't real pleased at Target last night with the kid swimsuit selection, yeah. so I went off to Walmart today and I took care of that. We will cut to a little uh, fashion show right now. A little montage. Also took care of some other essentials at Walmart with the trip in mind. Fold up wagon thing. Um, we saw somebody down there with one of these last year and just put, you know, all the beach toys, the cooler, everything, and just went straight across to the beach and it looked real easy and convenient, so. I almost didn't find it. I swear I looked through all the camping area and I found collapsible everythings, but couldn't find a wagon and it was up front, so. Climb on the <laughs> diapers. Got some size four diapers. We like the Pampers Cruisers for Betty. Yay. Got an extra, extra cooler. A zipperless cooler. Yeah, so it just kind of goes pulls in. And then we'll tray in there. I think that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Because sometimes, it. you know, some people be at the pool, some people be on a fishing boat maybe, and right. we need a couple coolers. I thought those would be good really for anybody, but they're BPA free, they're microwavable and dishwasher safe. Uh, sure if I had shoes that small as hand-me-downs for Biddy right. on those little open sandals and then some for Nucky. Flippy floppy. Look at that little PJ and little Ariel. Little baby float. Little baby I thought float. we could just take and blow up there and... Heck yeah. Some facial cloths. Gonna need those. Individual laundry detergents. Smart. Just to keep on hand in the in the wagon, in a purse or wherever. Then you can wipe hands, you can wipe surfaces. I do. Ooh, another couple of bibs. I like those big ones. Mm -hmm. A diaper cream yeah. in a tube that we can take. Extra toothpaste. That must be home toothpaste. Home though. toothpaste. Ooh, a three in one. For Bub, he likes to keep it multitasking. One. I do. That's my favorite kid sunscreen, and I thought just in case the copper tone does us wrong, I know I oh, like that. Some I'll put picks. those for you too, Bub. Appreciate that. I might break into those today. Over here, huh? I can feel the excitement. Some more. For me. Shampoo. Shampoo conditioner. I really like the scent of that you kind. Said a, said a silverware. Um, yeah, that's trip uh, trip snacks, kid snacks. Some, uh, Sunny Days snack bars. Nookie really likes these. And they are great because they don't crumble like some right. other ones. They hang together. You won't have crumbs all over They're the place. They're a little place. smaller too. Goldfish. Goldfish and pizza. Yeah. 
<laughs> the adults may need some goldfish on this trip as well. Heck yeah. And looks like some juice boxes. Juice boxes to take with. A lot of grocery things I think we're just gonna have to pick up there as far as fresh oh, yeah. fruit and this and that. I also want to show you guys what Tika sent. You probably know about Tika on Instagram, uh, but she and I did a live thing on Instagram actually, oh, it was probably a couple months ago, and she sent me these beautiful plates that she designed for Lennox. I love the bunny design, I think that's so sweet, and if you turn it around, Bub, you can see that it is her... Um, her collection there and I think that's so impressive and it was so kind of her to send those my way. <laughs> Keep the earth clean. It's not Uranus. That's funny. Nucky, don't tackle. You gotta watch out for the tackling. See the change. S-E-A. That seems to be some sort of pun. Mason jar. See? Turtles. Told you it was about the turtles. 500 million plastic straws that are used in the U.S. alone. Puts marine friends at risk. Like it's in the ocean and like it in the turtles' noses and stuff and it really messes with them. Environmental friendly. <laughs> you got a nice metal like, you know, non-disposable straw that you can use. It's kind of look like candles. Um, looks like they're all about the same, just different colors. Uh, nice pink. Lancome, classy right here. Your packing material is, is flower petals. Apply for 30 minutes before bedtime and see the results for yourself. Your skin is plumper, firmer, and simply glowing with health. You don't even need to sleep when you use this. Your skin will look just fine. Oh, a mask. We're gonna have to try those out later. Are they all the same? Oh, sweet. I think uh, family masks are in order. Uh, this is an advanced genifique concentrate. Activator de juin. <laughs> Youth activating concentrate. There we go. Oh, I see. You got like a little eyedropper there. So that's very thin. It goes on pretty easy. A tip, you're not gonna need a lot because that little, maybe half of a eyedropper pretty much got my whole face covered. I've got a pretty big face. I do feel much younger. I like this kind of the container, how it kind of goes dark and then fades into the, to the light stuff. Really nice looking packaging. Classy. Kush. Okay, Kush Mascara, launching 420, so that just came out on Friday. One hit for high volume. I think there's a marijuana theme to this. It took me a while there, but I'm caught on now. Cannabis oil, can you do that? You get high off this stuff? We're giving you the goods. Okay, that's what I was smelling, it's like a candle. Milk Makeup has partnered with our fave cannabis connoisseurs for a total cush experience. Light up with these accessories. What kind of message are we sending to the kids with this? You can light this cannabis hemp oil infused candle. It smells pretty good. Kind of like a hockey puck. Oh, so the matches. That is a good light. Okay, that's weak. I don't know what they make these matchsticks out of, but it didn't burn into the matchstick at all. You're gonna need to light that candle pretty quick. Okay. Always keep an empty uh, McCroy can around just in case you have to dispose of any uh, flammable materials. You got these two pins that say Kush on them. That's if you have like a formal event and you want to pin that to your lapel so people know about the weed makeup that you use. More LA girl. Dare to glow. Luminous glow. Brightens, illuminates, brings out a radiant glow. Two illuminating finishes. Do you dare put the two together? That would be bold. I guess that would be a powder and a cream. What do we think? Am I illuminated? One side versus the other? Not illuminated. Illuminated. <laughs> I don't have the uh, the fortitude to do both the powder and the and the cream. Baby steps. Baby steps. Yes. Bitty, thank you. Thank you. Woo!